guys. So this is Android 11. Uh, I received the update immediately after uh, Google posted it on Twitter. I'm going to show you the Android screen recorder feature. Now it's built in the Android system. Uh, actually, you could just download an app, uh, for example, from Play Store and uh, record your screen. And there are some manufacturers like OnePlus, they used to have a screen recorder built in as well. So it's not something new, but now you have it built into the system and you can just click start. You can choose whether you want to use your microphone, device audio, device audio or mi and microphone, which is both of them. And you can choose whether you want to show touches on screen. I want to do both actually. And start. So the first thing I want to show you guys is uh, basically that we have some new icons. When you go to the customization of your phone, or whatever phone you have, you will have some new icon shape, um, which is the circle oval icon shape. Very weird. There's the like an etiquette uh, looking icon shape, and this one, which is weird. I don't like it. But anyway. Those are the new icon shape you get. And that's it. And now, when you go to the notifications, that's where there's a lot happening. Uh, right now, I don't really have a notification, but I'll show you, for example, if I send myself a message, it will show on the conversations. So you will have conversation uh, you will have uh, silent messages and you will have uh, default or something, yeah? Because when you click it, for example, yeah, so you have priority, default and silent. This one is different though, because I set myself as priority. This is something you can actually do with messages now. Um, for example, if I want to set this person as a priority, I just click here, and it's a long click. And then I set it as priority. Priority means that it will show at, show at the top of conversation, appears as a floating bubble, which is not working with WhatsApp right now, but I'll show you with Telegram. And um, yeah, it will display the profile picture on the lock screen. So when I lock my screen and unlock it, my profile picture will show. And as well, in my notification shade, you can see that that's my profile picture showing. So. It's very really great. Um, the other thing is that you can also customize it in the settings. So this is, for example, the customization of notification just for WhatsApp. Uh, it's kind of special here because in Android 11, they are kind of really focusing on notifications. So here I can select if I want selected conversations to bubble nothing can bubble or all of them will bubble and all is not really something i would suggest especially for those people who send a lot of messages you will get so many messages it's going to be crazy let me show you how the bubble thing work um i'll send the message on telegram so that's it so you have a bubble now it's not really new if you used to facebook messenger because facebook messenger used to do it like since 2013 if i remember and uh, yeah now you can do it to with every uh, uh messaging services like android messages telegram whatsapp facebook messenger and the rest right now whatsapp is not working with it i have no idea why but yeah you can drag it around you can decide to close it and here is where you decide if you want it to be a bubble or not like there's this new icon there which is very weird now it's showing me that can be extended as a bubble and that's it um the other thing that you can do is go to the history of your notifications so this is something um that you could do on Android 10 and actually former versions of Android, but it was kind of a whole thing, go to the home screen and add the notification settings. It was very complicated and it's not as great as now. 
but now you can see the notification that you missed uh, in the last 24 hours is grouped by apps so you can check all of them and what I realized as well is that you can now read messages that were deleted um, this is something I think WhatsApp and Telegram will want to fix because if someone sent you a message and then they deleted the message you can go to the notification history and check those messages um, this is um, <laughs> a little bit scary but yeah that's it so when you go to history here you can also check the notification settings which is really really different now um, here you can check if you want to turn on the notification history or not you can check if you want to turn on bubbles or not bubbles is something that even though you turn on here you can turn it off by apps so it's kind of different you can check if you want to show notifications on locked screen advanced this is hide silent notification status this is something i think we used to have on android 10 it's not really new uh, the other thing as well is that there are some uh, spaces uh, between notifications on android 10 it used to be just together and stacked somehow you can see the difference now there's a lot of space between notifications so you also have uh, talking about notifications you also have media players that will show in the um, i don't know i never remember how we call this menu where there's the bluetooth and whatever it's kind of a control panel so let me play this for example now it's showing here so you can control them there it's not in the notifications anymore it's built in there and you can extend it by just dragging it down you can choose whether you want to play it on your phone speaker or your headphones or anything that you kind of connect to your phone when you, and when you have a lot of apps that are streaming media you can actually drag through them here so you have youtube that is playing the media and you have youtube music and if you want to cancel all of them you just do that and that's it they are all gone this is something kind of great to have um i don't know how i feel about it it's been all the way up there it's kind of weird it used to be different on android 10 but yeah it's there if you want it the other things that uh, we have are not really new when you go to settings uh, the icons are a little bit different but this is kind of a pixel thing because when you actually have oneplus that's coming with oxygen 11 is going to be totally different and apparently they're pissing off a lot of people with oxygen 11 i don't really like the look either um but you can do some new stuff like privacy one of the thing about android 11 is that it's really privacy focused it's like android 10 they are focusing more and more on privacy um if you're really scared that someone is going to take your data or maybe the cia or mi6 or whatever your agency is, is after you well you can kind of have more control over everything but it's still it's still weird anyway uh you can also go to apps and notifications when you go to apps and notifications now you have conversations so you can choose which notification you want to choose as conversation or uh, you can decide to delete it so yeah um what else where you go to the system and advert you know, system and gestures now you have the power menu settings in gestures and you can decide if you want to show sensitive content uh, if you want cards and passes on device controls on this was very weird to me because i was like the power menu is it really a gesture anyway to access it you have to long press the power menu and it's kind of revamped now it's a little bit different you have the emergency power off uh, restart you can add your google pay uh, cards here i have them on my other phone i didn't add them here and you can control your smart home 
devices, uh, which is really weird to me as well because not many people have smartphone devices and to have this as a core feature in Android 11 is a little bit weird. But anyway, the thing I like a lot is the Google Pay and passes access, but I still have my passes in Google Pay. Uh, I haven't added any card to this phone yet, but apparently it's only going to show your cards. You can also check the new Easter egg of Android 11 by going to About Phone in Android 11 version. Yeah, so it's kind of a dial, rotating dial or something like that. It rotates and then when you get to here, you have to kind of click it. It's not showing. Yeah, 11. It's great because it gives you haptic feedback when you turn in it. I think it's from Android 1 to 10 and like and up to the way to 11. The 11 versions of Android. It would have been great if they could put all of them, Petit Fou, KitKat, Jelly Bean, all of them. But it's really great. It's different. And yeah, now you have the possibility to select something directly from the app viewer so let's say for example i want to select uh, what uh, starling bank is talking about here i just want to select some words i long press and i can select it and copy it and share it but before that it wasn't possible like uh, let's say i'm in twitter for example and i'm trying to select nope nope i can't i have to copy the whole tweet but now i can just select it by long pressing. I can also use this select and it will show me what I can select easily. Um, this is very great. Um, it's just using, uh, I think OCR, is it what they call it? Uh, you can do it as well for images that have text in them. It's easier to select. There's a new screenshot uh, button here. You know, there are so many ways on Android to take screenshots. Um, and one plus devices, you have the power button here, you have the volume button here, and you do this. Uh, when you have a pixel device, you take using the power button, volume down this way. Like if you change in Android devices, it's kind of a different way from one Android device to the other. But now you just have the screenshot button here. You just click screenshot and that's it. And now you have the possibility to share or edit. I click edit. Yeah, I'm putting the screenshots in the corner. It's a little bit like iOS, the thing, but actually OnePlus was doing the same thing and others. Um, but now you have kind of not a revamped uh, uh, screenshot. Like let's say, oh, here they used to be share and delete. Now it's just the icons. And talking about share, it's different now. Now you can simply pin an app that you're using a lot. Like let's say I share to WhatsApp a lot. I can long press and pin WhatsApp. So I want to share to WhatsApp. It will be easier for me. The other thing that is great is that you can now just click an app and it will show you the different actions. Before that, on Android 10, it was another story. Let me show you. Uh, let me put my brightness to full. If I take this screenshot, for example, and I want to share. Yeah, for Instagram, it's going to show me Instagram direct, Instagram feed, Instagram stories. Like you will have so many here, whereas you can just have one app and click the app and have the actions. This is what's happening here. With Twitter, you just click Twitter. Oh, do you want to tweet it or direct message? It's so simple now. This is something that was really, really great and I really loved it. Uh, other than that, what I realized is that you they have changed the files app, the default files app. Now it's the files go. I think now it's it, it, it used to be called files go. Now it's just files or something like that. I don't know why they changed it. I feel like they just didn't want it anymore or <laughs> something like that. But yeah, it's different now. But when you want to attach a file, let's say I'm composing and I want to attach a file here, it will show you the old file app. And 
I don't know why we have both of them now. And that's the only way you can get access to the old one. And the old one was great for me because I could access Google Drive easier. For the new file app, uh, to access Google Drive, you have to go all the way down, browse other storages, and you have to click it, and then it will send you to the app, which is very weird. I don't like that. But anyway, that's it. There are some new emojis, and they kind of change the design of the emoji, but I didn't notice it at first, but now it's kind of a little bit different but that's it actually android is getting mature like everyone is saying it's a mature OS, and that's true because it's really great now and if you want new features you don't really need uh to update the entire system uh google system update or whatever that google is using to send the uh, new features is great like nearby share is now on every android devices from Android 7. Uh, this is an, an update that they pushed maybe through uh, Google Play services. It was really simple for them. So yeah, now the, the, the OS is okay. Everything is okay. The only thing that you need now is just refining stuff and giving some more privacy features to those who are scared of their privacy and stuff like that. And that's it. You don't really need much on Android now. You have everything you need. Yeah, that was it. That was Android 11. Thank you for watching. Bye.